any news on liver? Nobody eats it, Bob. It's not worth bringing it back. Oh, I don't get it at home now, either. Wife's gone, uh, what's it called? Vegan. Bullshit. <laughs> well, did you get what you wanted, Brad? And a large tea. Yeah, toothbrush, you know. Ask her. A large tea. Why, have you not been home, Bren, or something? No. I, mean, I could have two small teas. I'm not bothered. <laughs> Where were you then? Tony's. Yeah. Ha, <laughs> see? Cup of hot water, love. I'm not bothered. <laughs> about getting it on for 50 quid you said not staying the flipping night getting it on doing it <laughs> what do you mean if they've done it you can't tell by flipping looking can you ask her i'm not asking her well i'll ask her you ask her then look i'll bloody ask her if it's any chance of a cup of tea at the end of it bread 12 rounds of white no brown we're on a detox <laughs> we at tony's last night then yeah I'm not being funny, but did you get it on? <laughs> did I get what on? It. Did you actually, you know, get down and do it? <laughs> no. <Aww>. Yes! <laughs> I told you! Three days to buy 50 quid! Stayed the night and didn't do it. How near and yet so flipping far, eh? <laughs> what do you want? Just give us a tea bag, I'll suck it on the way. <laughs> Answer me one question, love. Where's my Clint? <laughs> I can stop her. I'm on my limit, lady, and I've nothing to lose. I've got high blood pressure and water retention. Do you know what that gives you? Boiling water. Pass on Sky, there was this film about this woman whose husband died in this avalanche. And two years later, she finds his sperm in the freezer and gets pregnant with a turkey baster. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Based on a true story. Durgo. So she's been distraught for years because they hadn't had any children. Mm. She should have cleaned the freezer out a bit more often. <laughs> so why did she not use her husband's sperm to get pregnant? She did. Well, you said she got pregnant with a turkey baster. <laughs> it's a little rubber. Oh. I thought it were a job, turkey baster. It's incomprehensible what's gone on here. There's no structure, no team spirit. I'll tell you what's incomprehensible. Dan! No, I've got my dander up now. <laughs> incomprehensible, it's worse than that. It's unbelievable. You're obtuse, you. You think I just go around mopping, don't you? Yeah. I don't. You think I'm just in with floor polisher? I'm not. I'm lucky, lucky, watchy, watchy. <laughs> I'm the brass monkey that knew where the banana was, and I've seen you alienate, belittle, upset, criticise, and verbally talk down to type thing. <laughs> and these are not only my friends, they're not only loyal, hard-working food preparation preparers, but female women! <laughs> I'm not bothered about myself, Stan, the person. I saw which way the roof was leaking when you put a stop to a free brew. No, it's you I'm agitating for. You've got to live with yourself in the morning. I haven't. I live with my dad, actually. <laughs> You've got to look yourself in the mirror and say, I've upset folk. I've given them way too much beetroot. And basically, when it comes to dealing with people, I am bog useless. <laughs> Good luck with night shift, because wiping tables I won't be. I won't be wiping them. You and Tony? Yeah? That he was like having a sort of a problem in bed. I couldn't get him before because a bloke and he comes in on a Thursday. <laughs> what are they? Viagra. They're really hard to get. You know what they are? Oh, yeah, they had one Richard and Judy. They gave them to three couples, didn't they, and sent them to an hotel. And one it didn't work. And one just went red in the face. And one it worked before he got to the bedroom and he had an orgasm in a revolving door. <laughs> I'm sure this is my tea, Anita. I think so. I think I saw Christine put the sweeteners in it. Two. Two little blue ones and the tissue. <laughs> no, my sweeteners are white and a little... What are the blue ones? <laughs> Viagra. <laughs> Chris 
Steed. Did you put Viagra in my tea? <laughs> so, I've just taken a very powerful drug designed to combat male impotence. Is that the situation? <laughs> what will it do to a woman? Where will it go? <laughs> what will happen when it gets down there and finds there's nothing to pump up? Rover going top speed into a cul-de-sac. <laughs> It'll bounce back and head straight for my heart, won't it? I'll die of a heart attack. What else will I get? Nose hair? <laughs> Am I going to start driving with one elbow out of the window? <laughs> Leaving the seat up? <laughs> Weeing at random, missing the ball altogether? Will you excuse me? Oh, God, is that Christine again? Yeah, that's the fourth one this morning. <laughs> oh, God, Brent, what's that? <laughs> Have a whiff of raw bacon, it takes the edge of it. <laughs> Who did it? Christine? Yeah. Might be nerves, might be mushy peas. <laughs> and how do you feel about having to wear a uniform? <laughs> I think we can all see the sense of it. For hygiene. And it protects your nipples. Are you coming down to serve? I said nipples! <laughs> I was going to say it protects your clothing. I said it protects your nipples. Oh, it's a lovely kitchen. Clean, anyway. I was in an institution once with a kitchen just like this. But I set fire to my mattress. <laughs> Had to be moved. <laughs> it wasn't suicide. It was matricide. <laughs> How's your buttocks doing, Bren, for our holiday? Hey. Got a bikini yet? Oh, I'm not getting a bikini. Oh, Bren, it's the year of the midriff. We're going to Spain, man. Let's see that belly button. Ha, you'll be lucky. I haven't seen it since about 1972. <laughs> Bren, I won't stop, sweetheart. <laughs> Is this your mum, Bren? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> I couldn't quite remember what, uh, Philippa. What she said. I'd taken a couple of disprol. I was a bit out of it. <laughs> Bring your mother to work. Was that what she said? Yeah. Well, I brought her. <laughs> no, ma. I don't know what use she'll be. She might be able to wash up or something. Is it like a youth employment scheme? <laughs> That's it. Go with them stairs. They're good for your stairs. They were on news last night. There was this woman, and she was 104, and she could still get into a pair of Levi's. Oh. Took two people to button them up for her, but even so. <laughs> no, this is like a phobia. I get panicky. What, on stairs? I fell off a diving board in Guernsey, you know. I can't stand on coconut matting either. Cardigan and pull her out by the ankles. Stan, <laughs> could you not roll her out on a few paintings? Isn't that how they built Stonehenge? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going to cry or wet my pants. <laughs> Can't take it anymore. Look, let's change the subject. Well, where's everybody going for their holidays? Jean? Niagara Falls. Oh. <laughs> That's the honeymoon capital of the world. Mm, so why am I going with Keith? It's like taking Telis of Alice for a shampoo and set. <laughs> Tell you. Shampoo and what? Shampoo and some music on. Yes. Lordy, why don't I make a sort of toilet tent? I did do it once in the guides. It's like a game where you lift people up. <laughs> Bring a car last. <laughs> Take the end off. <laughs> what do you reckon to catering then, Sigourney? It's all right. It's a bit boring. 